students this week have been exploring three-digit numbers. Let's take a look at what they've been working on. Students in the classroom have been given a number of different longs and asked to count them. Well, already, just for review, that I know that one long is the same as 10 cubes. We also call it tens. The first thing you would ask them to do is to count up how many tens they see. This is not counting by tens, but simply counting the tens by ones. I see just by counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that all together I have 12 tens. The next thing they have been working on is how it's a lot easier for mathematicians to group 10 tens as one flat or one group of 100. This is the next base 10 block they have been working on. So we have been practicing how do we group a group of 10s together to make a flat. How many do we have to have? Well, from our exploration, we know that 10 longs equal 100. So that's the next thing they are going to be asked to do. They're asked to count out 10 longs and circle them just so to make 100. How many tens are left over? Well, I can see that that is two. Notice how I am not counting by tens when I form these numbers. We only do that down here at the last part when it asks us what is the number that we have all together. I know that 12 tens or 102 tens left over is the same as the number 120. If students aren't sure, please prompt them to go back and count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's our flat, 110 and 120. Let's do another one. Again, here is a different array of longs. How many tens do I have all together? I can tell from the picture that I have 13. Can I make a group of 100 here? The students will count out either by tens or by ones, a group of 10 and circle it to make a flat or 100. I also have three tens left over. Now that three digit number down here is going to be 130. Again, my numbers are getting a little bit larger. The first thing I have to do is write down how many tens I have and I can see by the picture that I have 20 tens. Now, counting by 100, students often will only circle one group of hundreds and then move on. But please prompt them that there could be more groups of hundred than just one, depending on the picture. In this picture here, I can see one group of hundred, one flat, and the same over here. So you can see that I circled two groups. That gives me 200 with no tens left over. This three digit number is 200. Again, I'm going to take a look at the picture and count up how many longs or tens I have. I can see here 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 tens. Can I make 100? I sure can. I see 10 longs here that I can group together to make my counting easier. 100 and I have six tens left over. The three digit number all together is going to be 160. Those are the ways that students have been exploring three digit numbers in room 333.